Now we go directly into Pedro Sanchez Carrasco. Talks. He's the next speaker. Pedro is from Universidad Nacional de Córdoba in Argentina, and, and he will talk about uh, some lessons after formalizing or after the formalization of the uh, CTM approach to forcing. Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm, having, I'm having trouble to find my. Oh, here it is. Okay. 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 Do you do you see the? Yes. The slides. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much uh, for the presentation. So this is a joint work with. The computer scientist uh, Emanuel Gunter, Miguel Pagano, and Matthias Steinberg from the University of Cordoba. First of all, uh, I, I would like to say that uh, this this work, uh, this formalization would wouldn't have been possible without uh, Kunin's books. So I, I want this to to be a little a little homage to to him to his memory. Uh, I want to thank Larry Paulson for his work and encouragement and some uh, the Isabel community for support, especially Mikhail Mandrikin for, for, for some details. And, and very especially uh, Cristina and Carlos for, for the invitation. Okay, so what this is really different. This is uh, from, from theory or discrete theory uh, as we have been discussing. So what is formal verification? So we, we write a proof in, in full detail and uh, trace him back to the very axioms yeah and, and use a computer to 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 check that so no 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 step is omitted but this is not the same as writing the statement and hitting enter and the computer says it's all right that that would be an automatic proof and uh, and so we we do not have that yet what what we do have is so our proof assistants, so that the, the, these tools uh, help us to fill in the details. So we, we do not have to do all, all the work. And, and here's a listing of some, some tools. This is Agda, Coke, Whole Light, ACL2, Lean, and Isabel, that, that's the one we, we use. And they have, they support different logics. So type theory, higher order logic, and first order logic, well, and there are many, many important, very many important theorems that have been formalized. For instance, the Foucault theorem that some some time ago there were some doubts about the the the, the, the its proof because it involved computer calculations. But now it's formalized, and 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 then it's one of the most rigorous, hard, more uh, uh, thor thoroughly uh, revised theorems. Then there is the program of univalent mathematics that, based on type theory and the univalent axiom that was uh, uh, proposed by by Vyvodsky and and it was also proposed to be done using computer and some other result like the that the Kepler's the formalization of Kepler's conjecture by Hales and his team and there are other efforts for instance Isabel. Uh, in his in its uh, higher order logic uh, uh, setting has a, a huge amount of mathematics formalized, especially analysis. And there is a, the, the newer assistant lean uh, has a, has some some uh, good prom promotion by Kevin Buzzard. And so many many mathematicians have have turned into to 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 look at this new new assistant. And even even he talked to to Peter Scholze to 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 formalize some some of his things. Okay, so let's turn to 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 Isabel, the the one uh, we were using, and, and it has several layers. So the the deepest one is is a pro programming language. It is called ML. Then on top of that, a, a, a meta logic is defined that it's where where you write the rules the deduction rules and it's it has it's a meta intuitionistic the meta is for because we you you write the rules here and you have equality implication and for all yeah 
the metaboleans are called prop. Yes. Uh, there you define the logic you have you want, for instance, first order logic, and uh, the, the logic set F includes a, a part of from that the axiom of, of, of set F set theory. And it has two types. So uh, two types sets and booleans called I and O. And it must be noted that the replacement and separation axiom schemes have a, a free uh, predicate, uh, free variable. So, so it's not strictly first order, but it's, uh, it's, it's uh, that the, the system is constrained. So, so you cannot use, for instance, uh, uh, the, the meta quantifier inside, uh, inside a, a predicate like this. Um, so it's a, essentially a notational vari variant of uh, von Neumann, Gödel, and Fernay set theory. And finally, inside uh, inside the universe of set I, as you as you know, you can develop uh, model theory, so satisfaction formulas. Uh, and one point that, that should be made clear is that the the meta logic so where you where you perform your reasonings, it's very very weak. So it has no no induction. So the the only induction principles that that are available work in at the object logic level. So they are uh, they, they they are based on the this set theoretical proofs of, of well foundedness. So the minimum element principle of n of the ordinals and, and the like. Okay. So uh, we decided to 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 use uh, uh, Isabel because we found out uh, during. Uh, so four years ago, uh, we found out about a construct, the constructability library from by by Paulson that has a, de a development of of relativization and absoluteness. The construction of the, of the set of codes for formulas as, as sets and model theoretic satisfaction. Uh, it has a version of the reflection principle and and the the development of the constructible universe. And the proof that it satisfies uh, AC, and how how relativization worked in 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 this um, in this library. So you have a you have a term for power set, for instance, uh, and it, it was put in 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 a completely relational form without using function applications, in order to finally get. Uh, be closer to to obtain a, a, a first order formula yeah just using uh, membership and equality yes and one technical detail i will i explain briefly is why we have some numbers here is because the the, the formulas are are qualified using de bruyne indices so it's a it's a way de bruyne indices are a way to to not use named variables yeah and this uh, helps the management of of, of uh, quantification and bounded variables. So how 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 do you read stuff like this? So uh, first of all, the assignments, which we normally give a function from variables to to elements of the set, are, are lists, are just lists, and a formula like this is read an open formula. It's read by considering the indices. To be the indices for, for 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 the list, so zero belongs to one. Correspond first element with the, starting with zero belongs to the second element of the list. Yeah, and quantifiers shift the indexing. So you have to count how many uh, quantifiers you have to jump to 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 encounter the, the corresponding bounding quantifier or the index of the list so this zero gets it means zero jump so i i go uh, out, outwards and find this quantifier so this zero is bounded by this for all and this one is one jump so there are no more quantifiers and there, it corresponds to the first element of this list so uh, in this reading this formula means the inclusion yeah so indexes uh, are shifted because of the, qu the quantifier. Well, now I, I can I can um, state 
which in which form we formalize the the, the fundamental theorems of, of forcing so uh, this is the notation here here we have the notation for 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 the evaluation at a, at a generic filter of a name actually we do not work with with names we just use uh we just use uh, any element of the set to the node to to as a name and the truth lemma is written like this so uh, and the, the main point is that we define a formula of a function from internalized formulas that mean codes from codes to codes yeah uh, such that the, the the truth lemma holds so a satisfaction at the at the extension is equivalent to uh, satisfaction uh, at the ground model with, with an enlarged environment yeah uh, using the the transform formula actually this is the approach taken by by Kunin and and the notation is, is is this but but we usually we we usually omit uh, omit this when we are writing yeah. and our our notation in the formalization is kind of closer to the to the spirit of of having an environment so it's p forces phi using this new environment and then the density lemma takes this, this shape uh, uh, so it, it's exactly like this in the, in the formalization so something is forces if and only if the, it, the, the the set of conditions that force it is dense below p okay so uh, we know that uh, the definition of forcing for atomic formulas is by recursion and we wanted to mimic this this definition this is in the second edition by Kunin, so it's a doubly recursive induction but the the the, the management of recursive definitions in in this whole set f is is not so smooth it's a little bit primitive so we have to code this as a as a single recursion and so that the form the form the, the the function that we define is a is a is a function that is a in turn is a codification of a, of a predicate uh, because it's a fu function that then has value zero and one and we codify the type of the, of atomic formula that we are that we are co codifying by this using this variable and then the then the the other parameters come so p t and the the two names and we have two cases so if the formula type is zero meaning equality and then the condition for for false inequality and 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 the other case yes and this was one of the most dirty parts of the development because uh, uh, to to prove the the induction principle for 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 this relation uh fricker the 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 the, the relate the well-founded relation that you read from from the definition here belonging to the union of uh, of domains and 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 the other one so being here being uh being a member uh, in, being in the domain of the other condition so this is so this is how the the the, the lemma of of induction of the principle of, of induction is written in in our code and and you can see how 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 the the meta connectives appear but you you perhaps better do not pay attention here, here and and simply read like for all for all names if, if for all names and tau we have this implication no matter what what is sigma i think there were, there's another failure but this time it's not me unfortunately yeah, let's wait. Am I back? Yes. Yes. <laughs> we can hear you very well. Yeah. Oh, yes. Lights went off here. Sorry. Oh. I'm so sorry. I will try for the last okay. time. I will share the screen. Okay. So uh, let's skip this now. Uh, so what what did we do? so we we extended the the the, the treatment of 
of relativization of CDFs constructible. And we had to, for this, we had to redesign uh, many of the results on, of Isabel ZF, but now uh, that were non absolute. Because of in, in ZF constructible, most of the work is done with, with uh, absolute concepts, because, because that's what you find in the, in the way of defining L and all the stuff. And even very basic results uh, involving, for instance, cardinal successors and countable sets. Uh, combinatorics on countable sex were, were missing for, for from Isabel ZF. So we did that. And uh, so we uh, we propose a, a model theoretical rendition of forcing. So we, we say how to, given a, um, a model of, of ZF, C, and we obtain, we construct the model of, of uh, ZF C uh, plus the negation of CH. Uh, and 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 here you can see the the statement as as it stands in the in the formalization. So this this is for equivalence, uh, m is transitive, and you you I I believe you can you can read it by yourself. Here this this dotted thing is the ch dotted is the the code for the formula the first order formula, um, uh, saying ch the negation. Yes, and this this uh, the satisfaction predicate is defined by by recursion as usual. Uh, but no meta theoretic issues were were formalized in, in our present formalization. So we we do not uh, define a, a, a first order calculus, uh, nothing like that. But e even though that we we can deduce some meta theoretic things. For instance, which instances of separation and replacement are needed to 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 do forcing, and and a verification of a fact that you already know that uh, actually no no choice is needed in the level of the object logic. So so given a CTM of set of C, uh, you can prove uh, construct extension without using choice. Um, and one of the lessons uh, we learn about this is that you have to take care of your your bureaucracy for for instance uh, it's straightforward uh, if you know how to define the cardinal of the set of a set it's straightforward to understand how how do you define that in, in relative to a class and uh but here you have to do this essentially by hand but and then we we define some some commands for doing this uh this is this is merit of especially of, of uh, Matthias Steinberg that that is uh, now a graduate student. So these commands provide a, the, a function from uh, the relative the relative cardinality function, and and this was missing from the from the from the set of constructible because if you, if you recall here. Uh, from from the from the apps from the original term we went straight to the actually Paulson went straight to the fully relational format in order to obtain the formula but but we need it as uh, when when you want to prove the most basic facts for instance that car cardinality cardinal function is idempotent if you write that in purely relational language it's a, it's a pain in the neck or, or much lower as a friend of mine said and so and these comments also provide the, the, the fully relational version. The, the, the formula whose satisfaction is equivalent to the relational version and the proof of that statement. And I have to recall that we cannot do induction. So this these are this these proofs cannot be done by induction. That in that way would be trivial because the 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 the, the the meta the meta logic pure does do not uh, um, support that so it's very weak we you only have induction on the on the on the natures in 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 the class i of sets uh, and the like so this this must be done in the programming language so in the deepest level uh, and uh, about which in instances of of the axioms are needed well, this is this is very recent work. If you if you so I, I mean the the past uh, two two weeks or three weeks, if you compare the numbers of the uh, between this and the and the and the numbers of the abstract, they are completely different. 
in, in two ways. Uh, for instance, we 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 finally uh, uh, find out which instances are needed of replacement. So we you need uh, seven instances for for iteration of operation to to build fixed points because lists and formulas are defined as, as fixed points. One more to to define the nth element of the list. To, Two, two more for, for transitive closures, uh, definition by well-founded recursion, and this is exactly five definitions. So we, we you, you have order types, rank, the, the cumulative hierarchy, the, the other function, and a recursive construction that you select elements when you're proving the delta system lemma. And five, uh, five other uh, plane replacements, uh, for instance, the, the, the replacement through the, the, the other function and the cardinality. And all of the all of this you also need in the in the in the extension to, to hold. Uh, all but, but but you do not need you do not need the delta system lemma in the in the extension. That's only for preservation. And for each of those. Uh, of, of the rest of the the the, the, the instances, uh, you you add one more to the to the ground model to obtain those instances in the extension. And actually, this is the essentially this is the new the function that gives given one one um, replacement instance in the extension. This is the replacement phi. This is the replacement instance that you need in the ground model to obtain that. Uh, so, and, and well, this is the, the rank initial segment uh, at ordinal alpha, and this, this uh, corners I mean the, the, the code for the formula that, ex that expresses this. And here we have the projection function second and first, just to, to encode two things with, the, with just one variable here. Um, so and so we have 32 instances and and for uh, for setting up the the forcing machinery properly uh, you, you need two two well founded recursions to, for check and 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 for and the definition of forcing for atomic formulas replacement through check the definition of the the name of the the filter Choice function, just one more to, to build a choice function to prove choice here. And two extra instances to, to build the slalom that you need for cardinal preservation by, by CCC forcing. And perhaps this is the, 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 the if, you, if you may, uh, the, 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 the interesting result is that actually applying the forcing theorems uh, do, not have, do not cost you any more um, um, any more instances of replacement. So we, we obtain uh, the, 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 the truth lemma, for instance, uniformly of phi. So those finally, finally many instances are sufficient for this. And, and you not require, this is independent in, in any further case that you want to, to, to apply this, this, this result for, for any phi, uh, you have that granted and uh, actually we we thought that was a case for for uh, for well we didn't know that but i thought it was a case for separation but at least per, per using our co uh, our formalization this is not the same for separation so the uh, for each each formula phi you need more and more um, instances of separation to 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 prove this so so when you unravel the the, the, the definition of the the construction of the first order formula yeah, yeah finally you 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 find out which instances of separation are needed okay so to understand how how proofs look like here um so this is a, a rule written in the it's it's the induction theorem written in some rule format. So you have the the, the conclusion here, the conclusion here, and the the premises here. So actually, and, and and if you have if you want to prove something that 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 matches that that conclusion, you can apply the rule. Apply is just a command, yeah, like like this, and the 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 result 
now, now your, your proof obligations appear in, in something called the proof state that say now you have to prove the base case and the inducted case. So they, they, they are two, 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 two cases. Uh, and this, this procedural way of proving things is uh, it's useful when you are exploring and it, it helps you to, 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 to decompose a, a, a goal. But when you apply, apply, apply this kind of, uh, of rule, you, you end up with things like this, and, and that's not even possible even to, to understand. Uh, so our, our goal was to, pro to have a proof document. That means a, a, a code that could be read, code could be read by mathematicians and, and set theorists. And so uh, the, those proofs are written in using this way. So you write proof, and in the the proof state, you 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 know you 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 can assume this. The you can assume that you have some x here, and and you you say that you fix a variable. You assume, and we you connect with then. This means that you you're going to use the assumption to show this, and then you can. Uh, use some automatic methods to 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 discharge this goal so to prove the last goal yeah and uh i would like to show how how a proof in, in our formalization look like uh, this is obviously cherry picked but uh let's let's show it so we have here um a, an excerpt from from the the proof of the power set axiom in in kunens and so and and the main thing is proving that the the, the relative power set is inside the extension uh, and so we assume that a, a belongs to m of g and so there is a we have to to see that there is a b in m of g and you can see here b m of g uh, such that the power set intersect uh, is included here so actually we are jumping here because it's better to have a linear order in the in the in the in the proof and actually we say which is which is b so um so from the assumptions we have a we have a, some since uh, since a is in the extension it has a name and uh we take the q what what it says there it's not exactly because we have to prove that this is we proved before that the relative of power set is this and uh, the the last comment is that one problem we have we we have not completely solved is that uh, um, when we have to prove that something is in the model yeah we have to resort to the to the to the versions of the the axiom the, of the codes of the axioms of separation and replacement and for that we have to make a code to 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 say for instance here we we need to code domain powers it and and this takes some some work and and it's that's not automatic because that's why i have 17 lines so i will skip the rest of this but but you can follow the i, I mean the the slides will be available uh, but, but you can you can see I, I will just stop here to 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 show the 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 notation of the forces relation forcing relation in action you have here the 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 um, we have here the 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 formula the atomic formula with with de Bruyne indices that zero corresponds to sigma and and one corresponds to corresponds to to chi yeah and then uh, so I will skip so. Uh, there are other approaches and and most notably uh, actually this was kind of a a, a, a bitter surprise for us because where we were starting to to prove to to uh, present things uh, nice proofs in the proof of separation uh, a team by han and van dorn uh, using link formalized the full independence of of ch uh, but they they did it uh, using uh, um, a codification of of set theory in in type theory uh, by Axel, and it's 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 a bit alien to be read this. Uh, in particular, for for instance, ordinals in in, in this formalization are are literally uh, uh, equivalence relations of equivalence classes of 
of well orders so they live in 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 a, in a bigger universe than the one you're you're working in some other respects their their formalizations is more mathematically mature so so they they develop this boolean valid approach and they have some more general setting but but it's 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 far from from the, the what what you would read in practice i believe so and there are other there are other presentations for instance in call that it's much more active than the that the framework of first order logic this is this one by paulson and there's another point to be considered so uh isabel said f is equiconsistent with set f so we should we should take care of this so with a grain of salt because it, it, some some uh, the, the intricacies of, of of how how the 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 higher order part is not to be a problem here to 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 mess with this it should take a be with careful but but i i think this is true uh, but assuming the cfc axioms in whole and uh, on top of the of the higher order logic requires something like an, an inaccessible and the and the uh, and the lean uh, and the foundations of lean the calculus of inductive construction assume from the starters is uh, the axiom of choice and and their consistency strength is omega inaccessible so exact exactly so 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 that's uh, no, in any of these three uh, systems, you you can have a finitary proof of of consistency, but I think we we're closer here. Okay, so let's end up with some. When you when you see it, you recognize it. So what happens with what's this forces of the the the, the what's the the formula that formalizes this x belongs to y if you if you may. So it's something like this. It's monstrous, and actually, that's that's uh, all of it, uh, because the forces of the negation of this formula it cannot be fully expanded in, in in Isabel. And I have one more of this. Uh, so this this mammoth, I will I will zoom in a little bit so you you believe me that there are some symbols there. Perhaps you can see them. And there are some numbers. So this is CH. This is CH written as a first order formula using just the propositional connectives and 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 the Broyan indices as, by, as variables. So it's it has uh, seventy four thousand symbols uh, around that, but but it's highly highly it's highly redundant because uh, so you, you can compress it uh, 60, 60 times, something like that. Uh, that's because this is not meant to, to, to be an efficient encoding. And that's another lesson that, that, that we learned uh, is that several scale things, scale factors uh, uh, affect this kind of stuff. Uh, computer scientists are, are, very, are very used to uh, working with with that in mind, but as a, as a mathematician, it, it is not it's not the the way we think. And for instance, uh, the automatic tools that were available, for instance, uh, could were were perfectly working when you had uh, five var variables and a, a statement with five variables, and and the exactly analog analogous statement with seven variables would 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 not uh, be solved. And was kind of uh, misleading that. Um, so uh, uh, this is this is uh, where where you can find the, the 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 code and 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 actually from to to just start reading this is is kind of a it's kind of a, a bitter a bitter sip. But uh, if you if you check the outline, this is this is linked in the in the in the slides. Um, and the last section provides uh, uh, of the minimum reading prerequisite uh, to believe that that we formalize what we say we formalize, because that that's one one serious um, uh, one serious obstacle, 
and one of the weakest the weakest points because you if if you didn't write the definitions right you might have end up formalizing something and it's not what you meant uh, and that's the, so the, the Randy Pollack wrote on that. Uh, it's it's very difficult. So after after discussing with Sultan Vidnyansky, I I wrote this 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 summary where 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 you can sort of say watch the 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 the, 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 the way definitions are woven uh, from from some basic stuff on sets and relativizations and going to to the proof of of oh, to the statement i mean to the statement of of uh, the 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 ctm of not ch and uh there's there's another another twist on the story that means that another lesson is that uh formalizing it, having your math formalized doesn't mean that you understand it because uh I, I was in one 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 occasion I, I was proving some facts about the the restriction of a relation so I managed to prove very basic stuff so I managed to prove several lemmas and then I I, I got uh, I got I, I had this roadblock so I couldn't prove that that some element belonged to to some to the to the domain of the relation and and that that was because the 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 restriction operation was the restriction in the function sense so you restrict the the the, the, the domain of the, of the relation but not the codomain so i was thinking about the restriction of the whole relation to the to, to some smaller uh, square uh but i nevertheless i managed to prove the, the other lemmas so so that's another lesson Okay, so uh, as future work, uh, we we would like to 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 continue a bit with the, with the, just closing this. I, I mean, um, uh, obtaining the, the the relevant CTMs of fragments of of set of C, uh, formalize the collapse forcing to to CH, class forcing. We we what what we formalize is set forcing. A uh, class forcing would be uh, possible, uh, and because you, you can, you essentially ha has to change this in, in our machinery. But there are some other problems with the relation. Uh, the, the relation is a set, and and that's a that's a problem. And another possibility would be to connect this to the the more lively environment of the whole and actually i'm i'm owing the the exact the exact function that, that and and i have a listing of 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 the of the overhead of, of separation that you need for to for doing forcing but the the ones that are introduced by the by the uh by the forcing theorems that that's not clear uh, so uh, and finally a set of constructible the the, the real, assume assume power set very early so all of this is 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 we are thinking uh, on cdms that are obtained from the from the cumulative hierarchy so so you go for for alpha uh, big enough so that you have enough replacement and then go to the ctm uh, but it will be nice in any case to 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 be able to work without assuming powers just from from the beginning so I, i'm sorry for for the for the technical problems uh, but thank you very much for for listening thank you very much pedro uh, are, uh, are there any questions comments Well, one one question. Uh, uh, you the well, count of references. instances of uh, yeah. replacement you showed. Yeah. Where instances you need to get a model of not CH. Is that correct? Or, or just those are the yeah. Assuming that you have. Uh, so those are the instances the that you need so you have to assume you have 
um, uh, uh, countable transitive models of those finite instances, yeah? And then you obtain a new model having a, a satisfying a power set choice and, and the negation of CH. If you want some other, uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, and you, from the starters, you, you assume that you have full separation on the, on the original model. And then you have full separation on the on the on the CTM. So we have a, you have a model of Z. You you assume a model of Z with those instances of replacement, and then you obtain a model of Z satisfying not CH and with C. I actually C in the both places. And for any further replacement um, uh, instance you want in the the, the 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 extension you assume just one more uh, in the in the ground yeah that's right I see okay yeah that's right any other comment or question well thank you very much again I would like to thank all of the speakers